Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is part of a collab hosted by Valerie at Life with Valerie Rose and Adrian from Adrian Marie. This collab was so much fun the last time and I'm really excited to be participating in it again. As soon as you're done watching my video, be sure to check out Valerie and Adrian's channels as well as the collab playlist, which I'll include in the description box below. There will be lots of super yummy copycat restaurant recipes that you'll definitely want to check out. If you're coming to my channel from the playlist, welcome. I do weekly grocery haul and what's for dinner videos and I share other foodie content as well. I hope you enjoy and that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Let's get into today's recipes. Today I'll be sharing a recipe for copycat Cafe Rio sweet pork salads. I got this recipe years ago from a lady at church and we love it. Now I've never eaten at Cafe Rio so I don't know how legit it is. I have had Costa Vida sweet pork salad which is supposed to be uh, really similar to Cafe Rio's and I can say that this recipe is really close to that. So so let's start by making the sweet pork. The ingredients are really simple for this. You'll need a pork butt. Here I have about three and a half pounds. You'll need two cups of Coca-Cola and then a bottle of your favorite barbecue sauce. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I also like to season the pork butt with some salt. And I will include all of the recipes for today's video in the description box below. To get started in this crock pot, I'm going to place in my pork butt and then I seasoned it with salt off camera. Then I'm just going to add in my Coca-Cola, add in the barbecue sauce, place the lid on this, and then you just wanna cook this on low for about eight to 10 hours or until it's really tender. You could also cook this on high for four to six hours. Once the pork is fall apart tender, I'm going to remove it to a separate bowl, shred it with a couple forks, and then add it back to the crock pot with the juices. I'm going to place the lid on and keep that on warm while I get everything else ready. And this sweet pork is not only good for these salads, but you can also make this into tacos, burritos, quesadillas, nachos, or you can just use this on um, some hamburger buns for pulled pork sandwiches. Next, I'm going to share with you the pico de gallo. Now you can make this, or if you wanna make dinner even quick and easier, you can just use store-bought pico de gallo, that's fine as well. But to make it, you need onion, cilantro, lime, a jalapeno, and then you will need some Roma tomatoes, and then salt. And if you don't like cilantro, you can just leave it out. To get started, I'm going to take my tomatoes, slice them in half, and then using a spoon, I'm just going to get rid of the seeds and place that into a bowl and then throw that away. I'm then going to dice up the tomatoes and add them to a small mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to add in my jalapeno. Now I'm using a very small jalapeno and I'm removing the seeds. If you like a lot of heat, you could leave the seeds in. If you're not a big fan of heat, you could either leave the jalapeno out altogether or just use less. I'm going to chop up the jalapeno really finely, add that to my tomatoes, then add in my fresh lime juice, then the cilantro, and again, if you are one of those who do not like cilantro, just leave it out. I'm going to be making some cilantro lime rice in a few moments, so I need cilantro for that, of course, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop it up now while I'm chopping it up for the pico de gallo and setting it aside in this small bowl. Next, I'm going to add in the onion, and just add the onion to taste. If you like a lot of onion, add more. If you don't like it at all, of course, you can leave it out. I just like to chop up the onion really finely, now I'm going to season this to taste with salt, stir it up, and then I'm going to put a lid on this and just put this into the refrigerator until I'm ready to serve it for dinner. Next up, I'm going to make their copycat tomatillo ranch dressing. This is so, so delicious. I highly recommend you give this a try. You'll need some cilantro, fresh lime juice, you'll need a jalapeno, some ranch dressing, and you can use store-bought or you can make your own. You'll need some garlic, and then you'll need a tomatillo. If you've never used tomatillos before, they kind of look like green tomatoes, but with an outer like skin on them, but they are not tomatoes, not at all. They're more like, I think they're in the gooseberry family. You'll just want to remove that like paper type skin and then wash it really well. I have this small little blender. You could also use a food processor. I'm going to add in the ranch dressing. Then my garlic clove, I'm just going to chop that up a little bit. You don't really have to worry about mincing it that fine because the blender will do the work. I'm going to add in my chopped up jalapeno, my chopped up tomatillo. 
then the cilantro. And just like with the pico de gallo, if you're not a cilantro fan, leave it out. And if you're not a fan of spice, you can lessen or leave out the jalapeno. Or like I said before, if you like a lot of spice, you can add more jalapeno. I'm then going to add in my lime juice. Place the lid on this and just process it until it is all smooth. I tasted this and added just a little bit of salt and then blended it up just one more time to get that mix in. And then I'm just going to place this in the refrigerator again until we're ready for dinner. I'm veering off the recipe a little bit for this. I'm going to do an easy cilantro lime rice. I'm going to use instant white rice, but you can just follow the recipe in the description box below if you'd like. To get started, I'm adding my water to this bowl, and then I'm going to add in my instant rice. Now, the instant rice that I'm using, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so I believe I used a cup and a half of water and a cup and a half of the rice. I'm going to add some salt, stir that together, and then cook it according to the instructions on the package, which for me was to microwave it for about five to seven minutes. Once that's done, I'm going to add in my cilantro and then the lime juice. And as you can see, the lime juice went everywhere. Then I'm going to just stir that together with a fork to fluff it up. And then that's it. The cilantro rice will be ready. Now that most of the components are ready, I'm going to get started on assembling the salads. I'm going to make some of these little tortilla um, bowls. You can buy these in the store. I have these molds. I'm just going to place a tortilla in each of the mold. And then I believe I cooked this on 375 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes or until they were nice and golden brown and crisp. Like I said, you can buy these in the grocery store or you can just use a regular tortilla or you can also leave the tortilla off altogether. That's what we do sometimes as well. And here are the fixings for the salads. Now, one thing that I love about this recipe, other than the fact that it's delicious, is that this is great for company or for like a family get together because you can just set everything out and then everybody can make their salads the way that they want them. Here's the sweet pork, the tortilla bowls, some shredded cheddar cheese, guacamole. This is just store-bought, but you can make it homemade if you would like. The tomatillo ranch dressing the pico de gallo, and again, just like with the guacamole, you can make this or just use store-bought. I have some tortilla strips, the cilantro lime rice, black beans, and these are just canned black beans that I have drained and rinsed. You can use your favorite beans. Pinto beans are also really good in these, and then you'll need some romaine lettuce. We're just going to assemble the salad. Now, I was talking to my husband while I was doing this, so I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't layer everything in the order that I normally do, but it doesn't really matter. You can just put this in whatever order you want, and if there's anything that you don't like, just leave it out and use what you do like. So usually, I start with the tortilla, then I add the lettuce, the rice, the sweet pork, the shredded cheese, the black beans, the pico de gallo, the guacamole, the ranch dressing, and then some tortilla strips. You can also use some cotija cheese, sour cream, pickled jalapenos, black olives, whatever you and your family like. And here is my finished salad. Like I said earlier, this is so, so delicious. I highly recommend you give this recipe a try. And if you do give it a try, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.